I used to live in a very old house. It was very large but very cheap as many people were too creeped out by the way it made them feel when they visited the property. On the house tour, the realtor was feeling so bad he had to leave early and continue another day. Since I have two other siblings and we wanted our own rooms, it was the best home to go with. On the first day, all the rooms were chosen by rock, paper, scissors and lucky me, I got the creepy attic. I myself love scary stories and often feel paranoid after staying up until 3 or so reading them on my phone. I loved the thrill that would disrupt my normal day to day activities. Many days when I was in the attic, I would hear the surrounding wood around me creak. Even when the smallest bit of wind blew, the house would cry. Sometimes I would swear I could hear footsteps but think, my mind must be playing tricks on me. The attic didn't even have a door for privacy, it was straight up the staircase. In my sizeable but mostly empty room, and creepy closets all around that I sometimes swear would open on their own on the black of night. But on one night, I know what happened was real, but who would ever believe me? I stayed up late watching creepy creepypasta videos online until about 2 in the morning. Then I turned out all of the lights to attempt to sleep. The old creaking throughout the old house kept me awake for a while, but soon I heard creaking that was different. It was the bottom step. My eyes were wide open as I laid there motionless. I heard it creaking up even more, two steps this time. I laid there for a while as I heard it ascending the steps, taking more and more steps all while my heart was jumping around in my chest. Finally, it stopped at the last step. I just couldn't bring myself to move at all. I was too petrified. My eyes closed faster than ever. My body lay dead as a log. Nothing. I peeked my eye slightly. Nothing. After a while of waiting and feeling it watching me, my curiosity got the best of me, so I opened my eyes to see the creature. Its ghastly grey skin, wide open and large alien-like eyes, a motionless expression, its long and spindly arms and legs on all four. It sat there unaware that I knew of its existence. My breathing was as even as I could get it, or else it might have known I was actually awake. After a while of sitting there, it moved fastly up my wall and onto my ceiling. I couldn't see it anymore. I sat there, waiting. I couldn't just go to sleep. When, all of a sudden, I felt it. Its cold finger touched my cheek. I jumped in terror and sat up as it stared at me for half a second. Then it jumped down and screeched at me, chasing me down the steps as I desperately tried to get away from it. I finally got to my parents' room and proceeded to lock it behind me. I quickly went to shake them awake, but then there was no response. I shook and shook. Nothing. I pulled the blankets off to see their insides splayed across the sheets, blood soaked into the surrounding mattress. I froze in horror as it started banging at the door, each time more violent. Finally, I just blocked off the door and went into a trance-like state. Next thing I remember is the police somehow making it through my barricade. Their horrified faces as they saw me, a 13-year-old kid with only skin and bones, and my parents partially decomposed and stinking. I was sent to the mental hospital for the crime of killing my family. At this point, I'm starting to believe, maybe I did.